Yay, just we just met live, Tiffany. Welcome. Yay. Hello. How are you? Good. My internet was acting kind of fussy, but I got it together. Oh, Girl, I'm saying. The timing <laughs> was impeccable. So that is great. Thanks Yay. for joining. Yes. I'm so happy. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Happy Friday. Yes. So Tiffany, what um well, I'm just gonna go around. We'll just start with saying what we're reading. So you can go first. I'm reading Mafia Man Man. So Ooh. only on chapter Ooh. four. I'm very okay. excited. I've heard good things. People have been saying that they're liking it. So I'm ready. I loved it. <laughs> you did? Oh my god. Take it. <laughs> I'm like chomping at the bed. I'm like, I loved it. So so good. <laughs> Hi guys. We need to read that series. Hi. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I I just I don't know what it is about her writing. I just find it super addicting. Like I just I don't know. She just really pulls me in. Not even just with the the SMET stuff. It's just yeah. like it's just really kind of beautiful how she writes and how they're so addicted and like attracted to each other. Like man, anyways, I could go on. Oh, Enzo was something else. I understand. It's fast. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was posting on Instagram. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Hi guys. Hi Jess. Jess. <laughs> hello, hello. Tiffany knows what I'm. Tiffany knows what I'm reading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what I love took shot. Second one or the third one? I'm reading. The, that's the third one. Okay. Third Thank one. you. I'm reading Does It Hurt by H.D. Carlton. It's my first okay. H.D. Carlton book, and I've been sending Tiffany voice notes all afternoon. <laughs> it's, it's good so far. Oh, that's oh, exciting. Okay, yeah. It's it's uh, it's our book club pick next month, so I'm just like, oh, I can't wait to well, read it. I'm reading it. I'm reading it now. That's why I picked it up, because like y'all are doing it for your book club. I think Jess is doing it for their book club, so I was like, yeah. I might as well. <laughs> Her. Oh yeah, absolutely. HD Carlton announced that she's doing audiobooks for all of her books for Does It Hurt and also for the Cat and Mouse, Mouse Duet. And oh, I'm very geez. excited. And Teddy Hamilton is narrating for the Cat and Mouse Duet as the guy. Oh. And I am so excited. Oh, she posted right. a little exciting. teaser on Instagram. It was great. Oh. <laughs> Victoria probably played it like five times. <laughs> I, I can't read it without the audiobook. I can't. I've been waiting and waiting. I've been wanting to read the Cat and Mouse duet, and I'm so excited that it's finally here. I have not read the second one yet. I haven't been ready, so I loved the first one. I, 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 I haven't been in a mentally uh, ready place to read book two, mm -hmm. but I've got it on my Kindle. It's ready to go. I'm definitely going to read it, so it's coming soon. But yeah, I know it's pretty dark. So, Do you guys yeah. recommend the first one? Because I haven't started that. I haven't read the first one yet. I haven't read it yet. I'm waiting for oh, the audiobook. Okay. <laughs> I read the I'm first just one. Waiting for the audiobook. Yeah. I can't it's, read it um, without the audiobook. I want the audiobook. Yeah. I'm getting into more audiobooks, so welcome. Hello. I have a feeling I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like my friend, maybe. <laughs> Coming in under a name. Oh, it was good. Hey, hey. Yeah, I love that's one of my favorites out of the series. Twisted Twisty Games. Twisted Games. Twisty Games was my favorite. I like the whole royal thing. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I like Twisted Love better than Twisted Games. That's where I'm at so far. I just okay. read two, but I'm I want to start Twisted Hate. Okay. And Victoria, remind us what are you reading right now? I'm reading Carnal Urges by JT Geisinger. I am only have an hour left in it, and it's really good so far. I really like it. I forgot how it ended. Obviously, I'm not going to say how it ended, but I forgot. <laughs> it's very good. I really like it. All right. Magnolia Parks. Oh, listen. So I want to listen. Listen, that book is going to make me go into a pile of anxiety. I need to get my hands on that book. And but the audiobook, or not the audiobook, sorry, the ebook is so expensive. It's, it's like on Hoopla. If you have Hoopla through your library, I think it's on Hoopla. I don't think I have Hoopla in Canada, though. Oh, maybe not. No, I don't think so. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to read it. But like, I'm just getting so obsessed. Everyone's reading it. I'm just like, I got to know what's going on here. It's yeah. apparently very angsty. I and it ends on an HEA on book one. Pardon me. 
which I learned from Tori's stories today. It so, ends on an H-E-A? It I doesn't it on the on first a Oh, it ends on a cliffhanger. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't realize it was a series until Sam I didn't. She was starting book two. I'm like book two. Yeah, like, I didn't oh. either until I watched uh, Tori's Instagram stories. <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah, stuff. The couple doesn't get their like continuation until the third book. So, wow. is the third book out? I'm not sure. I don't know. Hmm. I think it is. Thank you for doing the work, Tori. And reporting. Yes, it. absolutely. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go into the first one not not knowing that it was didn't end on an issue. I had no clue. I thought it was a standalone. <laughs> so did I. The cover is beautiful. I wouldn't have thought from the cover what was going on in those pages from what people are saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, really? <laughs> it looks like such a beautiful, like, I actually need to look at it a bit closer, but it doesn't look like what people are saying, like a kind of like a gossipy, kind of like toxic gossip girl, like, you know, I thought it was like, a small town, like I was just yeah. assuming it was like a cute, angsty, small town romance. And oh, that's not right. <laughs> so funny. I've never heard of The Nightmare by Regina, a Regina Abel. That that's one? a monster romance. I, just want to say, Ooh. Monster. I oh, think that's okay. what Abel writes, mm -hmm. right? Doesn't she write monster romance? I think so. We right. should ask Avery. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I think Brie from In Love and Words likes Regina Abel. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, birthday girl. Oh, I don't think this is my friend. <laughs> I thought because my friend is that's her like she's E. Harris as well. So yeah, all very hot and wrapping up birthday. Regina girl. Abel writes the I Married a Lizard Man series. That's what I thought. I Married a Naga, those ones. Ooh, yeah. that looks awesome. Ooh. That's so, that cover is everything. Wow. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> I know, I love it. <laughs> cool. I need to, I might, how, how long is this? I might need to go to sleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is about the audiobooks, I think. <laughs> Add to TBR. Quarter of Silver Flames. <laughs> She's like, I'm reading it some I, That's my favorite when you're reading a book and you don't want it to end. That's what's yes. going on for me because I'm reading like Kennedy Ryan like before I let go and I don't mm -hmm. I don't want to let go. <laughs> I, I don't want it to be done. I'm literally like, I've literally been like taking my time and it's such a hard thing to do when you're so obsessed. But mm -hmm. I read until 3 a.m. I was like, wow. okay, I got to stop. And then I had to go to work. And then I thought about it all day, but I was like busy. And then I came home and I'm so happy to get into it because we're right before a good part, like really good part. So really yeah. Good. It's like oh. well, thank you to Caitlin because I wouldn't have seen it in time. Like she sent me a message on WhatsApp and she's like, You better get your butt onto <laughs> Neck Valley ASAP. <laughs> She's was, like, it no. was it an I open? I don't think it's for me. I and she's like, I'm she's like, the day only. I was like, <laughs> she's, and then she's like, P.S. Happy Saturday. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Could everyone download it from Neck Alley? Like, it wasn't like a request. It was. Mm -hmm. so, she did it. She did uh, an open thing for like 24 hours. Cool. It was just a free for all. Yeah, really cool. I think they yeah. just did that with the do over by T.L. Swan. They did that with that one yeah, too. I saw that. The author list. It's amazing. It's so good. I'm it's so, so excited. Good. It's going to so be amazing. <laughs> okay. I thought that Ruby Dixon was an anonymous author. I thought that nobody knew who she was. Ruby Dixon is on this author list. But I think it is a pen name, though. I That's thought I nobody I knew who she no? was. Oh. But I thought it was a pen name and nobody knew who she was. But I thought it was on too, this author list. Somebody said she writes like something totally yeah. different outside of like. That's what I thought. Listen, She's on this author I list. I We're going to show up and it's like going to be like a computer a person at her who went to signings. Well, Mila Finale is also a pen name too. I'm like, yeah. dang. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That list well, is amazing. Well, Vincent. I was like, oh, pretty, okay. All right. Yeah. Know. Makes sense. <laughs> Bad enough. I was saying earlier, I've never been to like a book signing before. And so there's, I'm so thankful that you guys do all these vlogs because they're so informative for me. And I just feel like I'm going to be in a puddle of goo in the middle of it going, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm going to have like my maps laminated with my cart and I'm going to be like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I'm going to have like wristbands like all the way down my arm. I'll be like frozen. I don't know where I'm going. 
I'm thankful because like going to Wanderlust in San Antonio is gonna be my very first sighting. Ooh, so yeah. I've been looking at all the videos. How I'm gonna pack, yeah. the car, I'm gonna pack my bag, you know? Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of logistics that goes into it. It's not just like pack your luggage and go. It's like what books? Like how's the cart gonna get on the plane? How much is yeah. everything weighing? Someone's gotta ship my stuff to me. Like what's <laughs> happening? So. Within parameters, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I just um yeah, there's just a lot of stuff involved for sure. Justice asked of Mila. Love like, this one. This is a good one. You know, please, you know what? She's on my list. I, I need to read Catherine Cowell. I, really, so I most read definitely. all yeah. five of the books in this series in three days. Oh, wow. really? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a testament. Okay. <laughs> I really, really yeah. like they were very very her writing good. is her writing is good i read tattered stars for a blog blog and i was like okay is this gonna be overhyped and i was like oh this is actually really good it was actually good it was actually <laughs> good. Yeah. Oh. i'm gonna do a small town blog because i need to read more small town romance i have you read elsie silver yet no <laughs> I haven't. Listen, she's Canadian. <laughs> she's Canadian. I know. I know. She. I have flawless on my TBR this month. So after does it hurt? I will. After does it hurt in mercy? I think I'm gonna slide her in there. After. I am so ready for mercy. I know oh, the yeah. arcs are supposed to be going out like next week or something like that. Because it's I supposed think to come out soon. Well, yeah. she scatters. She scatters them. I think she she does give them out to a few people. And then, time, and, the, and then she waits like a week. Like that's really early. And then she'll wait like a week or two mm -hmm. and then start giving them out. So Garnet Flath, a Devney Perry is another author that I, I love need to Devney read. Perry. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't read this series by Devney Perry yet, but I own the audiobooks for them. I just haven't. Oh, them. perfect. Lily Maine. I love the reek. Enjoy. <laughs> the... <laughs> and he's such a cinnamon roll. Oh, I, I appreciate a good cinnamon roll hero. I really do. I loved oh, Broken Bonds, and I completely understand your need to go into book two. because Who I writes read, that, sorry? Uh, Jay Bree. When oh, I okay. read book one, I just planned on reading book one because the author was going to be at a polycon. And then she ended up canceling going to a polycon. But I read it because oh. she was going to be at a polycon. Okay. And then I immediately read book two, and then I immediately read book three. It's like the most addictive series, like, ever. It's a paranormal reverse harem series. Oh, okay. That sounds good. It's sword, yeah. crossing? sword crossing at all? <laughs> Not in the first three books that I read, unfortunately. Oh. Okay. The first book is like a very yeah. low slow. It's like a slow burn. <laughs> like it doesn't, there's not a whole lot of spice in the first book. Okay. I but think the box is doing a, like special editions for that series. I don't it know. Is, if, they are. is it Bookish Box? I think maybe yeah, Bookish or Box. Or Darkly. I think there are two. I think the Arcane one are, is doing that. Okay. It may also be doing it. Yeah. All right. The last book in the series hasn't come out yet, though. It comes out in September. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I, I like the cover. Of, I like the cover of that book. Ashley Poston. I haven't heard of her either. The Dead Romantics or of Broken Bonds? The Dead Romantics. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know which one you're talking about now. I just need a notepad instead of my I phone. Know, I, to I, write. Have to <laughs> I know. I'm like, maybe it'll be quicker if I write this down. I don't know. Dead Romantics. Oh, I do like. I do like this cover. That cover's nice. We need to just have Goodreads open and just like have the search. Yeah. Bar go. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. see. I think she's talking about the Sarah J. Moss series. I got the ebook. Yeah, she did. So mm -hmm. Jess, got, Jess, I got remember Jess Parks talking about it. Magnolia Parks. That's what she's. Yeah. Well, because the oh. price went, the price went up because I think before it got discovered, it was like five dollars, and then it yeah. went up. Yeah, to it's $10. like ten now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anytime an ebook is over ten dollars, I just buy the paperback because. But then I went I'm to like, but then I went to the paperback and it's twenty four ninety nine. What is it a thick? Is yeah. it a thick book? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to get it because I I have no choice because it's not at my library or anything. So that's true. Yeah, that's crazy. No, and maybe I should get this on live. But can I send it to you if I get it on Hoopla? I'm not sure. Are we able to do that? We'll have an offline chat. Later. Oh, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll have an off camera. No, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm honestly just joking. But like, I'm not sure how that works. But absolutely, I would appreciate it if it if that could work legally. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, I, exactly. That's no. I, I, I had, I, um, Jess and I talked about that actually, cause I looked on Amazon I could like on Amazon, like Canada and I could not believe it was 10 99. I'm like, okay. So then, yeah, like I said, I went to the paperback, but 24 99, I was like, okay. That's a so lot. I, gotta, I don't pay more than $5 for eBooks. If it's more yeah. than $5, I don't want it. Same Victoria, same. I will like wait for a credit or something. Or I was like, we, it's not for me. I'm like, unless I have a gift card or something. No. Yeah, Tasha own covers are beautiful. I want to read her books. Are so pretty. She, she, I love Tasha. Gerson. I love her. I want to read her books. Okay. Nikki, I'm like, it's like Dead Romantics. Right. Loving the community spirit. This is great. Nesta. Nesta is a fantastic character arc. I love Nesta. I do too. I love, I love this. I love this duet. The wildflower duet was really good. I don't know yeah. if anybody have y'all read it. I read the first book. I'm going to. I know it's very controversial, but it's, it's very good. I read the first one. I didn't continue, but <laughs> listen, I totally get it. Oh, yeah. it's, it's it's not for everybody. I totally get it. It was good though. The covers are beautiful. I will say that. Oh, the <laughs> covers are very funny. And book like as books are subjective. We're all <laughs> we all can feel how we feel, right? That that's the beautiful. That's what I love about the book community mm -hmm. too is that we all come together and have different opinions, and then we can have like these great conversations about it too. So. <laughs> Shadow creatures. That's why I'm ex I'm excited for book club. I'm excited to talk about does it hurt because I'm excited oh, too. Oh, I'm so I'm gonna definitely starting it after right after this one. I can't wait. I I there's been so many comments about it and people are loving it. I'm like really. Well, I'm loving like, that there was multiple. Like I love that you and Jess are doing it because I know not to talk up like there's a conversation to like, go in and have another discussion. Like it's that. Yeah, one of these times we're going to have to do like a crossover live show or something and just have like oh, one big party, idea. right? Because I know that um, McKay and I are doing Pen Pal and then so is Tori and Sam. We're all doing Pen Pal in the same month. That would be a so, good mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I love my Lily Mane. <laughs> I, I just put Soul Eater in a five star prediction video. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love it. The right, okay. You're like her. No, she's not. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a pen. I gotta, I gotta get caught up. I'm falling behind. Oh, I know, I know, Lizelle. I'm loving it. I was. I cannot, really wait. I cannot wait. It's just she just feels like home, you know. It's just, I yeah. open up her book and it's just, right? it, but yeah, it's just like a safe space. She just creates a really safe space. So, yeah, like, I'm not ready either. Her book five stars. Like, Ten. maybe I gave one four, but, mm -hmm. and I think it was like block shot because like the, the cheating thing. But even then, I probably gave it five stars because of how well it was. I think yeah. I DNF'd block shot because of the cheating. It just wasn't what I wanted. But every other one yeah. by Kennedy it definitely Ryan, was irritating. I it five stars. <laughs> every yeah. other one I read. But I've yeah. only read one, two. I think I've only read six of her books. Okay. Yes, it does. <clears throat> I've like got there. real. I gotta read real as well. Real, I haven't read either. That's a great audio book, too. Is it? Yeah, I've heard. Book. Uh, I might, yeah, I might just get the audio because I've heard that. I want like the Kennedy full experience. Kennedy Ryan's books are emotionally exhausting for me. Oh, they I are. love them. I give them five stars, but I feel like I ran a marathon afterwards. She's gonna cut you every single like, time. You yeah. have to read something light. Her and Brittany Cherry, I have to read something oh, light after their books. So I'm like, I can't do two in a row. <laughs> no, you gotta pace yourself. Absolutely. That's I okay. There's know. there's time, Lexi. You I have time. Really that series yet. is Garrett. The cover of Mercy, though. Yes, oh. goodness. Oh God. Oh, I just it's gonna be He's so. Good. I'm He's, so excited. I was talking to Sarah about this, and oh. he looks just like Emerson. He's so pretty. Ooh. Very pretty. I yeah love him. It was actually, you're, that's a good point. That, that was a good photo shot of it is. Emerson it and Bo. Like, that was a good call there. Oh, here's my sirens. 
they did a really good job of choosing a cover model. They did a very yeah. good job. I'm just like all the snippets. I'm just like I've never read a female Dom before, so I'm very intrigued. Also, I'm his so like, little intrigued. mustache. Like I'm really ready for like Maggie to like cut him down a speck. Well, that I, little, like, I just want, that I little, just want spanking. I just want spanking. Yeah, That's that all. little that little excerpt she released. I'm like, oh, oh, gosh. listen here. I'm like. <laughs> She's like not. She's not wasting any time with that little excerpt she released. I've been ready for her book since really the second one when we when we revisit. Like you know when they're coming up with the idea, she's a bit of a mystery. So yeah. I'm excited well, about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because they haven't really touched on her very much in the other book. She's always like in the board meetings, but mm -hmm. she doesn't say much. And so the there is woman? there is a big layer. All of we know is that. No one ever knows her kink. That's what they say about her every single book. Every time. They don't know what her kink is. Isn't she yeah, the only she... woman, though? Like, all yeah, the guys who, all people who run are men. So I think she's that's the only woman partner. And, but she's always yeah. on her phone. So that'll definitely tie into, I think, of maybe a lot of how they meet. Because I think they meet on an app or something. So I think that ties in. But oh, I'm just, oh, it's just I'm excited great. Great. They really are. Her writing is so, I cannot Melanie. wait to meet her at Wanderlust. I cannot wait. <laughs> I am oh. I'm jealous of you. I, I cannot wait. Oh. Okay, that's good that's to know. Parks, right? That's good to know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because for twenty four ninety nine, I need it to be as thick as the words. Yeah. <laughs> the words is really long. It I is. I'm so surprised. Yeah, it was about seven hundred. 700 pages I think the words but I did to be honest though, like heart like she did a pretty good job like I didn't really feel the density of it like she kept us going like yeah. she I, I in my opinion anyways like I I was hooked right to the end pretty much that's so I'm excited for her next two books the choice and the consequence which follows Memphis like another guy in the band so that was really good too yeah, yeah I right? would even blame you three dollars is a lot 2.99 I'm like woo. <laughs> <laughs> I think the most I will spend is four ninety nine. That's it. Same. I think Hello. I'm not keeping or any play. I'm, you know, I just table it and then yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. I have like I a e book wish list list on Amazon. Yeah. That's like private. It's not like, and I'm like, yeah, oh, if I gift card. I'll go back to these ones. Like yeah. when I read, I think I read Tattered Stars by Catherine Cowles and it just so happened when um, Morgan recommended it to me and she's like, read this one. It was free because it's the first book in that series. So it just happened yeah. to be free. I was like, yes. And then I was like, I really wanted to read the second one. It's like four ninety nine, And I was like, I will come back to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like her back on KU, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I might add her paperbacks to like my wish list and just like buy them one at a time because the paperbacks are gorgeous. gorgeous. They're so yeah. pretty. They're stunning. Yeah. <gasps> Keeping 13. Is that oh, Chloe, Walsh? Chloe Walsh. Oh, that's one of my favorites. I didn't know that oh, one. What so is it good. about? I keep hearing it's, it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love Chloe Walsh. Um, it's it's I would say it's like young, like not even well, YA sort of, but it's about it's set in Ireland. Chloe Walsh is an Irish writer, and it's yeah. about a young girl that's from kind of like a broken home, and she meets like the star player of the rugby team, but their relationship is so incredibly beautiful. The stuff that she has to go through and how he helps her is just the most like I that book is long. Like it's like I think it's about 800 pages. Wow. I was so emotionally moved like I I just I'll never forget it ever and then there's like it's the boys of Tommen series so there's keeping third binding third or keeping 13 you know binding 13 keeping 13 so that's kind of like the kind of the wrap up but then there's a whole band of their friends and it's just incredible Chloe yeah. Walsh just had some stuff going on in her private life so she's kind of taken a little bit of a break but it's it's definitely promising to be such an incredible series so I highly recommend it okay. so yeah it's one of those ones that just gets my goosebumps up, you know, every time Goodreads I Goodreads says Keeping 13 is 938 pages. I think it depends on the edition. Yeah, I think that's I read it on Goodreads. Kindle. Amazon but... says 638. Oh, that's better. Uh -uh. That's, yeah. better. that's a little more manageable. Yeah. It has yeah. amazing reviews on Goodreads. It's wow. honestly I've heard of this. I I just really liked it. It made me like it. It a lot of books make me emotional, but this it really it really sat in my soul pretty deep. I was pretty. Did good. you have to read the first one first? 
Yes, highly recommend. Yeah, I, I don't, because the second one, the first one introduces everybody and then it's like the second one's a continuation. And then I think she's going to write about like the friends and like um, the heroine's brother and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really good. Adding it she's a very talented writer. Really well. Oh, give me more, give me more, gave me more. Okay, that book was so good. That I is burn for, after Mercy. I think Burn for me is going to be my next Sarah Kate book. I'm waiting to Ooh, read it. Yeah, oh, it's no. one of my favorites. <laughs> I can't wait. Ooh, get ready. Oh, good. Yeah, I loved it, Burn. I'm super extra because I pre ordered the regular cover and the alt cover. <laughs> I was like, I can't choose. I mean, listen, what a what a bad problem to have. Like, I just got my very first book box, and I got an additional. I got the cover to cover with Sarah Kate and all that, so I got that addition, um, that other praise cover, the it's, black one. I like it. I think it's cool. Oh, it's what? Not pretty. It's very sleek. I think it's very That's cool. sexy. Oh. I'm wet. It's like I'm wet. And <laughs> yeah. So I'm funny. on their team, and I know Sarah Kate was like she's intentionally wanted like that clean billionaire look, and so that's yeah. that's how we ended up with like that cover as opposed to like a silhouette. I need to see if my library has it. My hoopla also has the whole Sutter Lake series, so okay, yeah, yeah. it'll have it. My library, we don't get indie in our library at all. <laughs> Nikki's like, no, like I am really in like peril over here. I'm like, listen. Please. My, every time I go into Indigo, I have to go to like I try and go to my local book. Actually, so I in my last vlog, there we have a store called McLeod's Books in Vancouver, and I don't know how they keep inventory because there's just books everywhere. They're all over the floor. They're everywhere, and all in the midst of like all these classics, I found The Takeover by Taylor Swan, and that was right. That was right after I asked the guy. I'm like, "Do you have romance?" And he kind of looks at me. He's like, "No, we don't do romance." I'm like. Oh. And then really? I'm like, I'm just going to do some B-roll because I think the store is so like hauntingly beautiful. And then literally it was like a diamond in the rough. I was like, oh my gosh. And it was like in supreme condition. I was like, I got to get that. Romance. You have a romance in here, sir. So You know what you had. Yeah. <laughs> my actual library, that. my actual library, my like Libby app does not have any romance in it. It has like traditionally mm -hmm. published like sort of romance, but not yeah any like indie ones but hoopla yeah. has a lot so i wish yeah. that you could hoopla in Canada. and i still read like traditionally romance too i just i like mostly indie though so it's kind of yeah I, I wish they would have a bit more yeah i'm thinking about um, getting that Bro brooklyn library card mm. I mean, it's annoying because i'm supposed to have like a library card to my to my alma mater so i'm like this should work too okay you should give me that access so i have to work on that because i think new york would have a lot more indie oh they, yeah. I bet they would. I bet they would. Ebooks. Mm -hmm. Oh, Monica, you didn't like Does It Hurt? Yeah, I was going to actually, let's go back because. I actually, so I shared this on my Instagram that I was reading it and a couple of people messaged me and they were like, I didn't like it. They were like, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. And I was like, fascinating because I'm enjoying it so far. <laughs> I've had people DM me, like, asking me, you know, just they're in the beginning, should I keep going? And I'm like, yes, keep going. The beginning is slow. The yeah. beginning is slow. Same as Haunting. I thought Haunting Adeline was quite slow in the beginning. Like, it, it took a while for me to really get into the story and have it pick up pace. But because she, she spends so much time, I think, world building. The that setup. she wants you to feel like you're in the house or maybe on the boat or I don't know, and does it hurt? But you know what I mean? So, yeah, sounds kind of. I always like to hear opposite sides because it's like, Me especially too. if I haven't read it, because I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. Ah, Nikki in Brooklyn. Isn't this your? <laughs> I was so confused there for a second. Is I was this like, you? Wait, or something no, it's someone else. Oh, that's wild. But it has like two Ks. Doesn't yours yeah. have two? Yeah. Yeah. Mine's two K. Well, hello, Nikki and Bookman. Hello. That is cool. And Drive is such a good book. So you came in with like, you're showing up with a, a good current reach. That's great. Oh, Reverse was so good too. Where are you at, other Nikki? Because I, I yeah. was my DMs. You got to get to past the waterfall. I'm just going to say, past the waterfall. Code. The waterfall. Mm. 
in the in drive or in reverse in uh does it hurt oh does, does it hurt, hurt? <laughs> like wrong book no, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah, right? That it's so oh. I just love it. So Can you cool. hold it up again. I was just gonna say, please give it to us. Is it a paperback? The foil. The foil. <sighs> Is it a paperback? Yeah. Yeah. There are but paperbacks her- and hard covers um for the box. Is it yeah. Yeah. So. Oh. Oh. That's a nice Gorgeous. image. I've got the other one and her pages are like that inside as well. Yeah. So I think that Ooh. was just, she kept that, but that cover is quite, I, I was obsessed with it when I opened I it. I really like that. That's very yeah. nice. Yeah. Are you from Canada? Oh. That would be so funny. Are you funny. from Canada, other Nikki? <laughs> <laughs> that would be I'm funny. Like, well, no, because I think if she has hoopla, I don't even think I have hoopla. So that answers that question. I think, I think. Not every uh, library does. They have yeah. to for it. I've got Libby. I've got Libby. But we just don't do indie. Like, there's no... There needs to be a bit of call for indie, I think. The Sutter Lake series is on any play. That is true. Oh. Okay. I love any play. It really is. You can unlimitedly listen. And it's then- very good. The only issue that I have with any play is that it can only go to 1.75. I'm like, y'all need to up that. Okay. Do you, I, don't know if, I don't know if you guys have ever used Scribd, but they just put it up to three. Just, yeah. I was like, it. I mean, I still use it on occasion, but I was so excited because I was like, because two times I can do it, but it's like, sometimes I'm faster than it. So I'm like. <laughs> you no, know, who class spoils this? Because that goes up to four. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, wow. wow. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yes. It's not going to be for everyone. It'll no, be okay. Hundred percent. Absolutely. Okay. Well, maybe we should still see it. if we get into our first. Oh, still beat it. Love it. I'm always so like every time someone reads that for the first time, I'm just like, oh yeah, what a time, what a time. I want to read Jude first still. <gasps> yeah, June first actually made me cry, <laughs> like, okay. in a good in a good way, like in, in a, a good, good way. way. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, oh, so not in a good way, like halfway through, but like in a, it's gonna get better. Like I was actually <sighs> very emotional. Like it was really good. Yeah, <laughs> Jennifer Hartman knows how to just take your heart and take it out and crush it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh it's another yeah. Nikki. A lot of Nikki's. We love Nikki's. <laughs> oh, well, you're close to me if you're in Washington. Very close. We should I have a up. Nikki. We should have a Nikki and Bookland meetup. <laughs> <laughs> party of two. Yeah, party Those of two. two. Orders, that would be cute. Yeah. I got my kingmaker blank so. for our sprints. <sighs> Ooh. Do I- I don't think they're going to. Excuse me, stop flexing and dabbing on me. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Okay, well, do you guys want to break into a a sprint? Yes. Sounds good. How long do we want to read for it? Do you want to go tell, I don't know, 701 or 730, 701 BSD? Yeah. What feels comfortable for you? That's fine for me. You know I'm horrible with time conversion, so I'm sitting here like, what is that? <laughs> I'm like, it's 7.30 already. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm, trying no, to, I'm, I'm trying to be like, I always go, I, my, my default, because Tiffany and I are in the same time zone, but my default is always EST to try and make it make sense for everybody else. So mm. I like completely skip over PSD mm. and I'm just like, EST. <laughs> yeah. So okay. 30 minutes then you want to do? Yeah, we'll just start with that, and we'll see how that goes. See how that feels. Cool, 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 cool. Yay. All right. Open my glasses. Puts my glasses back on. And keep your camera on, Caitlin, so I can check in with that experience. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Happy reading, you guys. <laughs>
How are we doing? <laughs> Hello. I have to unmute myself. You're like, where's that voice coming from? I'm just. Oh my god! Just getting. Okay. <laughs> how are how are the books? Maybe people can tell us how much they read. How Look at Tiffany. <laughs> I know. I'm I almost eighteen percent. Okay, I have an eighteen percent. The captive, captive, captive situation has been set, honey. Okay, <laughs> and I'm just over here laughing because the kind of the first thing she does. I saw your face. I your your smile was just like you're like I'm living for this. All his security guards. I was like, oh my god, no, she is not. <laughs> oh my gosh. How about, how about Victoria, Caitlin? How are your guys' books coming along? Go, Victoria. <laughs> Mine's good. I'm really close to the end, actually. So, okay. It's very good. Awesome. Mine is hilarious. They very obviously hate each other right now, but it's forced proximity because they are locked in a room together in a single bed. So, love that. And your, your reading doesn't hurt, right? Yeah, they hate each other. And Tiffany, <laughs> what, and which one are you reading again? Sorry, Mafia Man. That's right. Oh, okay. I know. What is the hello, first hello. In the series in the Mafia um, Man one? Mafia, Mafia Mistress. Mafia Mistress. Mafia Yeah. Mafia Mistress. Yeah. Okay. I gotta start that yeah. one. Yeah. Is that the one where she's with the like? Is it age gap? Like she's with the dad? Is is that that one? <laughs> Yeah, she's supposed to marry his son. Like he goes to That's Toronto like to Toronto. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your facial expressions <laughs> are like so good. I mean, oh, this is People are on a need to know basis. <laughs> yeah, Tiffy's reading Mafia Madman. I can't Enzo wait to see Yeah. <laughs> He is a jackass. Yeah. <laughs> What's so hard about this is that he's righteously angry. Yes. Yeah, he's, and it's like, mm, you know? Yeah. And now I was like, this is not you know? Anyway. The, the banter in that book is say, really good, though. I'm all yeah. about the bromance. That's what I loved about Twisted Hate, was the, the, the reuniting of the bromance. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Josh. Yes, they are. Ooh. And we had a Lotus shout out in Before I Let Go. Did we? Really? Anyway. There is? Yeah, it's, it's not a spoiler. Cool. It's just, I think, I mean, I think she kind of ties things in in her books or something, but I just, I just remember reading a Lotus Ross and I'm like, Lotus Ross. But yeah. You're going to love the new oh, novella. No, oh, I'm excited for that one. The novella, yes. Ivan. I love Ivan. Such a good one. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Oh, she's on I book that's two the one in that after Magnolia, Magnolia Parks Park. universe. Okay, Sam. You're <laughs> Sam putting everybody on. Sam, Sam put us oh, all yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Putting us on the map. Enzo is something else. He is. Like, this man is rude. You just like, wait, Tiffany. You just wait. He is something else. Mm. You know You know what it is about that series, though, I have to admit? Like, it's really good writing, but her Italian dirty talk is, like, yes. supreme. Like, it's so good. Like, I, yes. will, I just eat it up. Every book, I'm like, more. I need more. I can and, like insults. I'm like, ooh, this is. It is. And this is me reading it. Google Translate. Oh, yes. <laughs> like I'm highlighting all the Italian phrases because like, sometimes I'm she'll go say back. it right. She'll say it in like italics after, but then sometimes she does it, and I'm like, "What does that mean?" I love when they don't say yeah. what it means, and you and have to like go look later. it up yourself. Literally, like, I was in a coffee shop. And I'm like, "What?" I was in a <laughs> I was in a coffee shop Google translating, and someone was behind me, and I'm not even gonna say what it was, but I was like, "Yes, okay, that's what I'm reading." <laughs> Congrats. Yes, congrats to Sam. Congratulations, Sam. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, Sam, we need to know. Is it good? It does it, it's, 
does book two follow like do they all three follow the same couple I think Jess <laughs> or Tori said parts. the first one the second one is a different couple that's confusing but okay Gotcha. <laughs> Victoria. She's like, it works. Like, like, why? <laughs> why would the second one wait? But yeah, okay, that makes sense. How are we in I wonder if it's a, is it a trilogy or a series? Like, is it a trilogy? Yeah, I know. Says book two is a different couple. So right. Then, so I'm like, is it, do you need to read it? A different, like, Isn't that how parallel is? I need to read. I'm reading that this month because of Jess. Um, yes, so that's. That's how that series is. I heard the second book, and that is a different couple, and then we go back to the third and the third book. I'm really intrigued. Uh, I want to read Parallel so, so That's so confusing. Book two is different. Well, like, I just hmm. want the, uh, the couple that I had already known. Like, I'd want them better. I'd want them <laughs> to finish. I want what I that's, want. <laughs> but the cover of it all, like, I just, I can't Did get you over see that. It's the so... picture that Sam posted on Instagram of the second book that she was holding. It's really yes. pretty. It is it pretty. pretty. Let me see. I'm not gonna lie. Tori was laughing at me because I told her I when I first saw the cover of Magnolia Parks, I thought it was like a regular, like regular fiction book. Like That's I didn't I even think it was a romance. And then she, like her and Sam, were talking about. It. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I will not judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I'm like, based on what you guys are saying here, I'm not gathering any of that from that cover. That cover is very. I uh, was not. Different than what you think it's gonna be. So I'm guessing oh, Sorry. No. Nope. Did you see the picture of Sam? Was Sam posted? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it, girl. Because oh, Sam, she's she cute. She did such Sam, a cute. I know. Cute. So good. So cute. That's like a, such Sam? a beautiful series of photos for the books, too. Right. I love that. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Well, get the book. Sam, cute. Yeah, I was uh, like, Sam is cute. What? She <laughs> 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 Sorry. Right. Oh my god. No, I love it. I love it. BJ is his name. B. Love that too. <laughs> love it. BJ and Magnolia. He sounds like such Sorry. a Sorry, I don't know. He sounds like such a naughty playboy. I know it's this, British based, so a naughty playboy. This I'm like, that's the screen is so childish for your like, name. Like, I know we're still bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Okay. I don't that's a know good. That. That's a good analogy. <laughs> I've never it's read like, so thing. Addicted Calloway is like, it's like 10 books and it's like interconnected, but like three different couples and like you could read them separately, but it makes sense to read them in order to get right. all the details and like the Easter eggs and the continuation. So I, that's a good comparison. I've only read Addicted to You. I've only read the first one. I am notorious the for sisters are better. reading book one and then being like, well, I have a lot of books to read. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible. Like Unless it's a really 10 book series. Yeah. I have other things to do. <laughs> yeah, you, you got to be committed. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I need to read Parallel, though. Oh, yeah. I'm reading that this month because of Jess. Like, I, I got to get it in. Ambitious I habit. wanted to try and read it before her author interview, but we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna see if I can do that. Because oh. I loved Waking Olivia. I love so Olivia. good. But I did not, Drowning Aaron's really good too. I did not, in fact, love the Devil series. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't have. I, I read all three of those. those. And oh. I, I've read two. I've read two. I haven't read the newest them. one. Did not love <laughs> any of them. So. I need to try something else by her to see yeah. if to see if Waking Olivia was a uh, outlier or <laughs> if the Devil series is yeah. just not for me. <laughs> Waking oh, Olivia yes. was beautiful. Yes. Oh, so we're good, Victoria. We can do one and two. Okay. Oh, that's good. One and two. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you, Jess. Okay. I, I'm oh excited. God. Me too. I'm very I'll interested about that one. Okay. I believe that. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just teasing. The cover is so we interesting. Believe. I, yeah, the designs are so interesting. It's very, it does not scream romance to me. Yeah, but I think that's what it was. I just, I wouldn't have pegged it for that. Well, that makes it so much more exciting. It has like animals. It has like mm -hmm. animals on it. And when I first saw it, it was like zoomed in. So I couldn't see that it was like a thicker book. And I thought it was mm -hmm. a children's book when I first looked at the cover of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Little animals on it. 
and tree. And I was like, that's cute. <laughs> Monica, it's happening to me. That is girl. hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My, my, I, I, I automatically the audio. My phone automatically connects to my car when I get into it. Oh, uh, and so when other people are in my car and I turn my car on, my phone automatically connects and plays what was last playing. And I've had some awkward moments oh, <laughs> with, with family members or friends in my car being like, oh, that was an unfortunate scene to have played over the <laughs> Like, what are you listening to? What do you think I'm listening to? Me, that I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> my friend just messaged me. She's like, I'm creeping on Tiffany's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, I have to say your blogs are so supreme. Like, oh, the, yes. I can tell the amount of work that you put into them. And also when you went to Hawaii and your brother was there, I know that there's a bit of like a cinematography background and you guys have some like education in that field, but it's just, it was so stunning. It was so well Thank done. Thank you. I yeah. didn't care about how long they take for me to get out, but I just like, I, I like, I like editing. I know that's what well, I, I, just, I do too. That's what I said earlier. I absolutely love editing. I want to learn more about it. I just think it's so fascinating. But yeah, you, your blogs are so nice. Like, they're just so, so nice. Much. And I just love listening to you talk about books anyway. So I love the way you talk about books. I yeah, me too. would watch all of your Instagram stories before you yeah. even started your YouTube You could show. honestly, you could read me like the manual for my air conditioner. And I'd be like, yep, be like, I need wow, to do, I'm I need so to push bad. all the buttons. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Yeah, Magnolia Parks, is. she's, this book is. It's blowing up. I know like, book started picking it up. I was like, is there a book? When I started seeing it, I was like, was there is there a book club I don't know about? Where yeah, that's right. Yeah. I want somebody to, yeah, want somebody to book club this one. Mm -hmm. Who started reading it first? Like, where did people find it? Oh, I saw it. Sam first. I saw I Sam saw her first. blog. Yeah. That's what I saw, too. So where did Sam find it? Sam, where'd you find it? <laughs> Give us the dirt, Sam. Sam, are you out there? You've been summoned. I want to read it now. Me it's too. Yeah, I know, I know. So. Hmm. On the TBR, for sure. I'm going to have to just suck it up and get the. Um, uh, but that at that point, well, I'm just going to get the paperback. You know? I'm like, I don't, I don't want to spend $11 on an ebook. And then I have to spend so more on the paperback when you eventually want the paperback. Exactly. Yeah, yeah and let's yeah. see what we can do first before you do all that. I'm telling you, what you can do is put the, the paper back in your cart or on your wish list and sometimes like after a week they'll drop the price like a dollar or two or something and I've I noticed that yeah I've noticed that that's a good point that's a good point Locks library okay we gotta that's where Sam heard it from need to do some research yeah Ooh, Sam said the writing stubbed me Ooh. okay all right I'm I said, I think I said to Sam, I'm like, I am in a pool of anxiety over this. Like, I need to start this book like yesterday. Like, I need, I, I, I am order. in such a bad need to know basis all the time. I'm like, what is everyone talking about? I need to be in this. That's is, how this I am. Is, is it some spice in it, Sam? Like, is it is it a little spice in it? I need to have <laughs> I a question, question Caitlin. <laughs> I got that is important Sam. information. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What? See? See? Y'all hyped it up. This I need to know. Working, this, this this is coming through like a lovely tornado here. This series. Wow. We about to spend some money tonight. <laughs> okay, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. <laughs> I already asked her. <laughs> is it something? Like, 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 like is, is, is it, it something straight. though? Like, I can do one scene. Like, is there a a scene? Does a glance feel like steam? Does it at least feel like that? Am yeah, I, is it like a really like, like I'm being dark nice? hand flex situation, or yeah. is it like a closed door situation? Is it like well, Mariana is, Zapata? Like, Zay is reading it right attention? now from Witty Reads, and she said it's the same. She's like, it's um, it's it's got some moments, but I and same as what Sam said, it's just not what we're used to in oh, terms okay. of like Rome. You know, when it gets to that scene factor, I think it's more mm -hmm. of like character. I don't know. I don't. I haven't read the book, but it seems like, like character, it's more character driven. driven. So yeah. yeah. Locks Library. Okay, noted. 
Well, I'm fine with that. I read a book last month that was fake yeah, and black, like, fine. and it was fine. I gave it four stars. That was the only reason I gave it four stars, but I didn't, like, miss the spice. I just didn't know going in that it was fake mm-hmm. to black, but yeah, right. by the time I got through the book, I was like, I mean, it was still good. <laughs> That's how yeah. I love the Audible originals. Like, with some of the Audible originals that I love, there's there's some fake to black, okay? But I have been knowing yeah. them, so... I'm glad you told me because I would have I would have been upset. I would have been upset. Yeah, so I'm happy I know. <laughs> well, that keep that binding thirteen and keeping thirteen series from Chloe Walsh. I don't know how the series is gonna progress because it depends mm-hmm. on the couple, I think. But between Johnny and um uh now I'm drawing a blank on her name, but anyways, the couple in those books, it's quite light. Like it's nothing. Yeah. But it the story just captivated me. So it just didn't oh. matter. So I completely understand that. Yeah. Johnny and Shannon. Oh, no, I'm doing that. I'm putting it in my car. It's I know, I know. It's been in my car for a bit. It. I put it on my head. <laughs> sliding too close to my head. Because I really want to order okay. this, and I have the words in my cart. I think as well. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and there's no plot. Yes, the words. What do you mean there's no plot? Like, so what is there? Hi, Tori. <laughs> it has Thank good you. writing. I think it's just like a toxic relationship. It's like kind of like I don't know. I don't want to speak to it, but that's what that's what I've heard from them. It's it's just I feel like their whole you, world. Like gossip, like gossip girl, like just drama. Because I like drama. <laughs> I like I drama. Know. I, I watch drama. Tori, I'm working in influence now. Tori. Yeah, literally, I did how Jess said it. Mega Tori. influence. <laughs> Sam, you're like a mega influencer. Locks Library, you're a mega influencer. Sam needs a hashtag. Sam read it first. <laughs> it is everything. Sam read it, it is everything. Made Sam up. says there's no plot. It's toxic, dramatic relationship with lots of drama. Alrighty. Okay. I mean, that's why I watched the Gossip Girl. So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I watched Gossip yeah. Girl. I mean, <laughs> And those points, I live for those points. In right, she's like, so in the book world, so I'm fine that's with fun. it. That works for me. <laughs> drama, drama, drama. It seems like us from the cover. It seems like now that I know it's not a children's book, it seems like a small town drama. Like, um, is it like Steel Magnolia feet like vibes? <laughs> like, I, I love it so much. I love it. I love it. I love Steel Magnolias. I That's a that. classic. That's iconic. Totally iconic. It's required. Okay. Yeah. Most codependent. Those are those are checklist items for me. I so. like it. I like, it. I like <laughs> the mega influencer, right? That's what totally. I'm saying. She is a mega influencer. Ooh, so they have the affluence to be best. So it's literally money. gossip. Money. Money. Love that. money and drama. Money. Oh my god. Sounds like it is sounds like a good time, Monica. It does sound good. I'm here for that. I gotta get through the balance series first though. <laughs> oh man, one series at a time, girl. You gotta That's like, enough yeah, drama you gotta, by you gotta you face know. yourself. Materialistic the balance series is five books and they all follow the same people. Yes, yeah, all so. same couple. Which series? The ba- uh, balance, balance series. Oh, oh well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I need to Neither am I. I bought the ebook collection when it was on sale. So I've mm-hmm. got that on my Kindle. Um, so, yeah. It's so good. We might need to do a read through so of good. that. I just get so yes. frustrated when it takes so many <laughs> books for them to get together. I'm like, just get together. <laughs> I do I understand know. that. I'm like, it's addictive, though. It is addictive. Like, the first book didn't feel long because what happened was I was reading something else and I picked this up but then I kept coming back to it and then finally I abandoned the other book and I was like okay I'll be back to that but let let me finish this yeah Yeah, there are definitely books that I like that follow the same couple but it's just very rare it's very like angsty and I'm like get to it (laughs) well I don't mind that Mm. if the same beats aren't being repeated if we're yes. not circling around the same court issues and using the same yes. mechanisms to, like, to depict that, then I'm fine. 
you know, it's right. Like, growing as characters also, like I don't want the same toxic characters in like all of the books. And like, you can be toxic in the first one. I need you to grow. grow. <laughs> I need growth. I need growth. I'm going to need you to work on your shit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why with the Crossfire series of book three, I was like, I see a growth moment. I'm ending it here. I saw one growth moment before they mess it up. I'm just going to jump off. So yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I did not read that one. I was like, oh my God. it was fun to see everybody's reactions. Oh, it was so much I fun. That was a great project that, Cy- that Cheyenne brought all of us together. That was really well, cool was to see fun. everyone's different reactions. I like we need to do Yes, you will, Sam. Event, yeah. And I will be watching every minute of it. When I, yeah, I gotta get caught Tori, up. Which the first one. one are you gonna do just the first one or the whole? Because Tori put a poll up on her story. She's, I think, yes. she's gonna do all of them. Okay. Oh my God, I love Ooh, it, Tori. Girl. Do it. Push I love it. I, I love it. Ah, Tori. Tori. Oh, I know. I know you feel the same. Oh my god. I'm not so. even mad that Tori hates the series. It's just hilarious. No, I think it's hilarious. Because I really thought I was going to be on Team Tori Jess and hate it. <laughs> well, McKay keeps asking me. She's like, she, I think she's just salivating for when I read it. She's like, I need you to read it and I need you to film it. I'm like, ah! I know. I'm so trying. Excited. I'm getting, I'm, I'm working my way up. <laughs> Sorry. It's so funny. I need to read it. I don't know how I have it. Uh, off balance I love very, messy though. That's very big. messy. I just it's love so messy. messy. Yeah, I love messy. I love it though. Like, and now this book, and I didn't think I liked cheating, but I think I like cheating. <laughs> like, at least in this book. Grab that side I bite. normally no, hate it. <laughs> but Everyone, Taylor said it here. It's because I knew going I knew going into it, it had cheating. So it was like, okay, right. I had time to wrap my head around it. Right. I'm okay with cheating, but I understand why it can be a trigger for people. So completely understand yeah. and respect that. But yeah. Sam's oh, reactions to the Crossfire series Ugh. was so fun. I like What's that? Those. Sam's reaction yeah. to the Crossfire oh, series. So watching that vlog was dying. Was okay. That series. Well, Caitlin, your little your little your little iconic book toss there at the end was pretty iconic. <laughs> You're just like this <laughs> I was so and I was like am I the only one hating this series and then I was like messaging oh. I think you and then Jess for like, honest fiction and I was like oh good it's not just people me hated it. three I thought was, was a filler book and I knew I was like I got one gross one yeah because it felt like a filler and I was like I don't it felt like it. a filler I don't want to be on here mm-hmm. crazy so we're gonna end right now that's what I told myself like that's okay, and I think I you know what like, you pulled out. You knew, you had a boundary, so yeah. Um, yes. really this fun. is me. This one's me. I have to yeah. be invested, and I'm just like I don't care about you enough to read five books about you. <laughs> well, we, you know what it is. We got to have some bumps on the road then, because if it's gonna be like if it's gonna be about them, we need to go through it then, like the loopy yeah. loops. Like they gotta be keep getting hit. Beach. Beach, beach, my brother's name is DJ. Mm. That's really close to that. Also, the unfortunate acronym of BJ, I feel like I would get distracted. Yeah. <laughs> Did they come in? So I went to school with a BJ. He really got it. So, <laughs> how can you yeah. go to high school with your name being BJ? I don't know. Y'all have to call wow. me something else. Like, I had some, like, I had some BJ in my high school. No pun intended. But, um, I, like, <laughs> I don't think I thought of it that way. Huh? Like, I don't think I made that connection then. It was amazing. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's because I was like small town. Like I grew up in a small town. So I don't know if people were just like, kids were just like bored and just like looking for anything to make sense. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe they were advanced. I'm not really sure. Oh, we got to read the series, you guys. Seriously. We okay. Have to get into does, it, this. does it end on book three or are there more books? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, that's great. You come in with the good questions. Kaylin's like, I'm like do, I, do I need to be prepared to be hooked and like keep reading? Yeah. And is if there is going to be a book four, how long until it comes out? 
Like if it's not We're like gonna investigators, come out, like get, give me more, more, Sam. Well, no, I was gonna say, Caitlin, you gotta put your lawyer voice on and just be like, "Court is in session." Yes. I have a question, Your Honor. Sam, the prosecution is not answering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna try it. I- we're making moves tonight here. People are making moves. I wish, I kind of hope she comes to Book Bonanza next year because I didn't see her name on the lineup. Move. She's going to your guys' in Florida, isn't she? Oh. Thank you, Nikki. Yes, she is going yeah. to. <laughs> I'm not even going to that Lucia one. Franco, like, that's what you're talking about. And you know what's funny is I, I'm the one who told Cheyenne she's coming. So that like, just, I uh, I'm gonna. I love that. I love that meetup for you guys. That's going to be so cool. That's going to be fun. I'm so excited. Actually, so I have a friend, I have a friend that lives in Florida and she, Cheyenne and I were talking and she, my friend only lives like 20 minutes away from Cheyenne and her bar, like my other oh, friend that owns like a bar and Co- oh, Co- so she, yeah, cool. she, lives in, she lives in like Cocoa Beach, Florida and Cheyenne's like, what? I only live like 20 minutes away. I'm like, well, I'll be coming to Florida next year. So Caitlin, oh, prepare so yourself. <gasps> yes, Tori, I know you loved it and I loved your vlog. I loved Thank seeing you. everyone's different opinions on it. I Your just loved how they loved it. it, why they didn't love it. I, that's what I loved how everyone came together on it. It was, I was fun. really curious. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's a chance to be creative. So we no should do that again. I can't. <laughs> I a child and I can't do that. The DJ. <laughs> I have the mind of a 14 year old boy and I cannot read a romance where the, his name is BJ. It's not going to work for me. <laughs> Is she off balance? Yeah, she, the heroine is yes, 16 off balance. She, she is 16. Oh, oh let me I'll just try to get clear. I'm reading it. Oh, good. She's, okay. 16, she's 16 and he's 32. Mm. That is so it ain't going to work. It's not gonna work. It is not going to work for everybody. And I think that is totally fine. Like, for some people, it feels weird. For peop- some others, it's like, they will. You, you'll get it. Um, so I think it's just up to interpretation, mm-hmm. honestly. Yeah. It's yeah. legal. It's legal. <laughs> well, Victoria, you had some good points as well. I mean, it falls in line with psychological level, you know, between yes. 17 and 18. You know, people have different things that happen to them in life that could make them more mature in yeah. life yeah. and, you know, make them kind of like old soul or, you know. Lots of things, being parentified, lots of different things can happen to kind of make you advance or be forced to be older than you are. Yeah. The, only, the only thing that 18 means is that the government sees you as an adult, but you, your brain isn't fully developed until you're 25 and the age of consent in most places is 16. So legally, yep. it's okay. Okay. Sorry, well, she's probably gonna. She's probably got to go back to her computer because it's becoming quite a thing. I don't know if TikTok's gotten a whiff of it, but if TikTok does, then I mean, yeah, booktube is hot. Booktube's where it's at. But of, I saw a couple yeah. of TikTokers reading Magnolia Parks. Tori, <laughs> how is she a lip noodle girl? Tell us. Tori is cracking me up in this chat. Mm. I believe. She I bet seems she like is. it. She I, seems, seems like, it. like she would be. She was cool. Yeah, but that's another like... reason. That was another reason I went ahead and bought the series and read it. Hush, because hush. Because I want to read Hush Hush. Damn, he old. Uh, <laughs> James Re- James Riviera is he's a daddy. <laughs> Damn, he old. One hundred percent. but he's like no, but he's like he's he. It's not like, like that. Cute. I mean, like he yeah. Is. Listen, like I'm like, all right. I, I am. He's all like, right. but he's like, oh, but he's like the definition of like a silver fox, you know? Like he's just I'm got fine swagger. Man. I just read Property of Pops where that man was like six. Oh my god, Jessica! Jessica. 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 I've read Jessica. Is he like seventy? You know, he was like sixty three or sixty four, and she was twenty one. Like he was the grandfather. Of her best no. friend from college, and, and, but he was like oh, wow. a, a retired army general, so like he had like an eight pack, like oh it my was goodness. sexy. <laughs> it was a it was a novella too. Like I don't think I could have handled a full length novel of him at sixty. No, you can't handle three hundred pages of Jessica. I I could not. <laughs> no. I'm so intrigued by I'm it. Like, 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 like whack. 
It was my first Jessica Kane book too. It was what? your first Jessica Kane. Oh. It was my first Jessica Kane. Jump to what would be what would be a good Jessica Kane book to start? Because I haven't read any Jessica Kane. Oh, I don't know. Property okay. of Pops. <laughs> <laughs> Her hefty no, series, I like her it. hefty series is good. I really loved King what? Size. That what? was my favorite Jessica Kane. King Size, okay. That's yeah. that one. Oh, Tori, oh, you are so funny. That's what I was that's saying. Crazy. How is she a lip noodle? That girl, girl is not a lip noodle, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Erica. Olympic, she was an Olympic gymnast. <laughs> Tori has this theory that Jessica Kane is Tessa Dare, and not I sort of. I Liz, believe. literally, I want to know because I have been reading Jessica Kane since I went to college, and I've slowly seen the intensity of the bonkers. It's so weird. It was crazy. Like, That's what I heard. She's, she's okay. The last year, it's been so. Oh, really? Um, but Tessa Dare hasn't okay. been writing. Her historical was supposed to come out, and she hasn't been writing. That's because property of pops like, came out. She's busy writing as Jessica Kane. Also, Tori <laughs> is, that, is that true? We don't yeah. know. Oh. But I think Jessica Kane is meant. The me. names kind of like match, like Jessa, Tessa, Kane. Oh, right. Dare. Like right. they're close. So Right. I I okay. agree with you, Tori. I, I believe it. You've given no, that's some proof. Points. I will agree. That, Tori, you are so proof. funny. All she cared about was gymnastics and that guy. She right, though. She right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like, it's so true, but I find that so comical. It's like, it that's literally, that's all it was. was like, oh, if you're man. not interested in gymnastics, you will like skim right. over all exactly. of it. Exactly. I think and yeah, I'm she, interested in gymnastics. So that's it's exactly. fascinating. That's what I've heard about it is that if you, you're not interested, then you'll be bored. Yeah, it was definitely either, I think someone, yeah, as like I said, someone either said, I think she has a background in gymnastics. Like I, I did it when I was little, but she, yeah, so it's definitely, I from what I read in the first book, I still have to pick it back up, but, like, she, it was de definitely very researched anyways. Like, very, a lot of good, like, technical terms and stuff like that, so, yeah. Well, I think after seeing her dad pass, I really just wanted to, like, support the author in some kind of way, so I was like, that just pushed me to read the books, and then I was like, I'm gonna just buy them all, just because. <laughs> yeah. Just because. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tori said it I first. <laughs> Tori did tell me first. Tor it was fully Tori's. That idea. would be so interesting. I think it would be so cool. Like, wow. Hmm. Well, like somebody sort of said. From, from what I've heard about either, like that's completely two different genres. It's completely yeah. opposite. I mean, it's the same genre, sorry, but different subgenres. Yeah, it's completely but Ruby Dixon. Ruby Dixon is allegedly a pen name because I've heard this before, but she's on the mm -hmm. lineup for Book Bonanza, which is. I yeah. immediately texted Avery. Immediately, I was like, "What Avery, is Avery? Though? Ruby Dixon is on the book Bonanza lineup, and Avery was like, "She can't be. Nobody's ever seen her." And I was like, "She's on the lineup. She's the like lineup. an enigma. She's like an enigma. She doesn't go to like signings or like doesn't do anything." I thought she was anonymous. She's anonymous, oh, or at least she. Wow. I thought that she was. Like that's what everyone said that she was. And I feel like if anyone would know, it would be Avery who has read every single Ruby Dixon. Yeah, no, no, 100%. She would be the expert, definitely. No. Definitely. Yeah. Grandpa yes. Smut is this <laughs> much. Monica. Yes, Monica. Because it's it was getting great. out of hand. Um, but I it love was it in the deep end, you know, where Jessica Lane. I just, you know, I've got years in and... <laughs> I'm just, I'm just confused. I cannot keep it together. I'm not going to be able to read that one. I'm sorry. It was crazy. I don't like, think I, I, do I gave it three and a half stars. Just like, it was good. Like, it's not a masterpiece, Fair. but it was very entertaining. Hi, Zay. Hi, Zay. Zay. Hey. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, Tori, did you ask her? Oh, we're getting there. She didn't ask. Oh, I didn't oh. know she had an MMA series. I didn't series. know she had an MMA series. Oh. I'll have to look into that. Mm -hmm. I like MMA. I'm into, I want to try Nikki Castle. I, I watched, I liked his interview and I'm very interested in that. I liked Five Rounds a lot. Okay. Yeah, Five Rounds, was, I like that one more. Okay, we got to we gotta bring in our briefcases and our carts. We have to bring notebooks full of questions. <laughs> <laughs> The page. <laughs> no, but it's like, you. I, I know I'm just going to be in a puddle. I'll forget everything I'm going to say mm -hmm. to anybody. 
Um, that's, that's yeah, fair. that documentary is pretty powerful. I actually watched that, that, that mm-hmm. documentary. That was pretty powerful. Very good point. That mm-hmm. is fair. And that's totally, yeah, absolutely fair. Oh, yeah. Zay's, Zay's reading Magnolia Parks right now. Mm-hmm. Are we spending oh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna print again? We're going to we do talk, it. We talk too much, obviously. <laughs> Sounds like, are you guys going to like get it together? Or are you going to read around? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what time? Okay, so do you want to do it longer this time? Up to you. Oh, no, it's up to all of us. We can do so short, it's, shorter or longer. Because what time is it? So it's 8.36 Eastern. So do you want to do like 9.15? I was thinking 9.15. Yeah. Does that work for everybody? Sounds yeah. great. Love that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's sprint. Come on, Enzo. Enzo.
Hello. I was totally laid out on the floor. <laughs> I know. I, saw that. I always try and be really gentle when I come back. I'm like, hello there. Hi, Crystal. Okay. Crystal, Crystal. Just really quickly, I just want to say, I already said it to Sam, but I just want to say we we were doing another sprint, my dear. I was just teasing you. We had a good laugh about that. That was funny. Okay. So like how's it. everyone doing? How's the books? It's getting good. Yeah, same. Same. That okay. was funny. Oh, hello, Crystal. 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 He's on Magnolia Park. Oh, man. We got, guys, we have to read this book. We really do. Oh, she's, she's DNFing it. Oh, 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 okay. If I don't like it, oh, okay. She's going to cry. Oh, she doesn't like it because I was like, I was going to tell you. <gasps> oh, okay. If I'm not going to read it. Fair enough. Oh, me too. Me too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Cause you'll know, cause sometimes I'll look and you have like the biggest smile on your face or you'll just be like, oh. I was having a moment too, though. I was getting kind of sucked in. Yeah. Cause Enzo keeps changing the whole plan here. I mean, right. he is. first it's revenge, then it's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. to I mean, I'm not going to say it, but I'm just like, okay. I'm completely mm -hmm. unraveling. I know. I know. Absolutely. These two still uh. hate each other. <laughs> okay. It is so funny to me. I'm just waiting for the plot twist because I just know it's coming. <gasps> Caitlin. I know it's coming. Ready. I wasn't ready. I don't I don't know what it was about this and her. I was not ready for it to like I knew something was gonna escalate, but and I, this is my first HD Carlton, so I hadn't, you know, read anything mm -hmm. from his mouth. So I didn't really I've never experienced the progression. You know, how right. it starts to build, 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 and then now yeah. I'm the mouse slum. You know, mm -hmm. that's what, like, I wasn't ready. I have this, is my, this is my first one by her, too. So, like, I have no idea how her writing is, like, gonna go. Yeah. I'm, you guys are making me very intrigued. I can't wait to, I can't wait to read it to be good. Is it is it quite a, is it a long one? Just, like, kind of, like, Hunting Adeline, too? Like, there, those are quite long books. So I'm like 39% in. I'm not sure how long it is. I think when I downloaded it, Amazon said like 300 something pages. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. That's pretty, okay. That's pretty standard. Like well, that's a feels, good length. It feels longer than it is because it, she uses like, she describes a lot of things, but right. it's not long. Okay. That makes sense. Ooh, what are we talking uh, about? They, they, they talking about. Yeah, they're they loving it. Yeah. Yay. We're missing out. I think the moral the moral of this live, the moral of this reading sprint is that we all have to read Magnolia Parks and each tell each other, or maybe maybe we all need to vlog it or something. If I can get it on Hoopla, I'm gonna try it, but I'm I'm nervous now. Oh, You're nervous because no one's gonna talk about it? Do you feel like oh, there's about a of... I hope I just I'm nervous that Chris didn't like Oh yeah, I you and between you and Crystal, I always like just tune in with my mug. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> always very curious what your thoughts. Um, is yes, it? it is a Golden Girl shirt. Thank you for being well, that. That's so cute. <laughs> I you love betcha. it. That was the show. Yeah, Google does have it. But we have to work on getting it to Mickey. We'll talk on the live stream. I appreciate that. It's just, I think that's a fair assessment though, Tori, honestly. It's a journey. Sometimes they're just the journey, right? And yeah, the best journey, the best journey. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Fair enough. Ooh. Who writes that one? Always be my duchess. I haven't read a historical in a while. I should read another historical. I've never read one. You've Maybe. never read a well, historical? 
I, 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 like time. I know I'm I've actually on my list. You I, should it's a, whole, one. it's a whole new year of trying new things and I, I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I remember even as a, when I was younger, seeing them in the grocery store, like right before the checkout, they'd be by the yeah. magazines and I'd always pick them up and look at the step backs all the time. Like I'd always be so entranced by this world and I've just never picked one up. So yeah, I definitely want to They're try it. I'm, I'm open. I'm very open-minded. I just kind of got stuck in like, you know, certain subgenres and stuff kind of like down those holes, but I'm, I'm definitely open to trying it for sure. So well, I, I like think you can recommend I would watch that vlog. Oh, okay. Pam Godwin. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin is a historical. Yes. Okay. Well, I love I Pam Godwin. So yeah. Magnolia Parks. I'm going to dream about this book tonight. It's going to be in my dream. I'm going to be like living it up in like Bristol in the UK or something. I don't know where the space, but. Um, the author's oh. Super Bonanza. Let me just. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she wrote them. Emma Renshaw, KV Rose, and oh, Serena. Oh, there we go. Bowen. Sorry. Thank okay, you. Oh, Serena Bowen. I'm very Thanks excited for. about Serena Bowen. Oh, I have cool. read every single Serena Bowen book. I just read. read, what is it, Paradise Lost, The Cult series. Oh. oh, yes, The Cult series. The Cult series, book two. That book two. Is the only read. one I have never read. The only oh, series yeah, in the entire battle. Oh, really? Oh, wow. <laughs> KB Rose, that would why. be exciting. I don't know why, but that's just the one that I haven't read yet. No HR yet. Mm, I don't know what that means. No historical romance yet. <gasps> oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a newbie. I'm a rookie. Yeah. I'm a rookie. I'm Tickets go on sale September 2nd, I think, at like 10 a.m. Texas time. Oh, God, I'm all stressed out. I already out. have my alarm set. <laughs> I think that's when it is. Stressed uh, out about it. It's a good stress. But. They changed the date, which I'm actually really Yes. Excited. It was originally. Well, I'm the opposite. <laughs> so I'm very excited because it was originally supposed to be August 22nd, I think. Yes. It was a Monday. It was and I was middle gonna, of I was going to be. At a, a Yankee game. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would not be able to buy tickets. And it's not the day. <laughs> I <agree laughs> well, I, I definitely am not going to be a Yankees game, but I had that day, like I was going to take it off. And then oh, yeah. I took that it off. And then they switched. Oh, and then they changed and then, it. Oh, and then cool. another girl that is like, she, she rehearsed me, she had taken it off and I approved it. I'm like, oh, sure. And then I'm like, oh, I need that day. So it, it's fine. It'll all work out. I'm not worried about it. Diana is so sweet in person. <laughs> yes. I decided to meet her in Vegas. Yes, I know. I got to read a historical. Parallel. Yeah. I told you, you got to get past that waterfall. Got to get past. The <laughs> and then you're good. It's 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 definitely, it, it's giving me like I know something is about to happen and I'm just waiting. Oh man, I can't wait to read it. I'm so excited. Ooh. Exciting. Oh, you're reading parallel. Somebody's reading parallel. Okay. I yeah. To... That's on my list as well. I I'm very excited. I think that they said that they're making an audiobook, if I remember correctly. Oh. But... Okay. I wish it had one. I mean, yeah, what's the <laughs> plan for that day? Like, are you. Ooh. That's a, what Zay's doing. That's where I'm going to be. I'll be in the office, but that's okay. I, my job's fairly, like, it's pretty flexible. So like, if I needed to go, we've got like these separate little side offices. If I needed to go sit in there for like an hour, like my boss doesn't care. He's very relaxed. <laughs> so yeah, it's fine. Break right now at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Like I need, I need a time. Okay. I, need time yeah. well, I, I have to check what time the tickets go on sale because I think it was like 10 a.m. time. Yeah. CMT, so, yeah. so for us, I think that's 8 a.m. Nick okay Ooh. that's that's like i'm, I'm just, just like i'm just i'm just getting to work like 11 mm -hmm. okay or something right i'll okay. be i'll be at work in my office helping somebody get a ticket because i already have one uh, <laughs> love it. you already have one well mine rolled over i think if you go oh, no right. this year you got to right. choose and i think for like a split second, I thought about like just selling my ticket, but then I was like, "No, I'm gonna go next year." So I'm so yeah, happy. I'm really, like, really good. So plan. I'm just gonna help some, try to help like one of y'all or something. Well, just, like, maybe you can help me. Yeah, 
Because I'll be at work yeah. in my office <laughs> doing nothing. Well, if you can, I don't know if there's a limit on tickets, but if you can, that would be helpful. Okay, yeah, the place that she offer to, as well. They need to drop them prices. That's what they need to do. They're going to raise the prices. Yeah, I think there. they're raising them. That's why mm-hmm. they're doing There's the gonna be more than about that. adding, adding Wi Fi. And yeah. then I'm like, oh, they're going to let people do payment plans. I was like, oh, y'all ain't do payment plans for $200. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm worried. I was like, so how, how much are we increasing? Like, I can do 250 you know, but. Yeah, I'm worried. Have you seen the raffle that they're doing? Like, the book Bonanza raffle thing? The things that they're raffling off are, like, insane. It's really? amazing. But I didn't, like, I don't, I did it last year and won nothing. So, like, I may buy a ticket yeah. on, like, the last day. It's like playing the lottery. Yeah, I mean, like, 50, 50 draws or something? Or you just, like, buy a ticket and you, you like, buy it. a ticket and it gets you a raffle. And if you're in the Facebook group, they do, like, incentives every day. Like, one day oh, they're, like, oh, I see that, yeah. If you buy one ticket, we'll match you, like, five raffle yeah, tickets or something. Gotcha. Like that. Okay. I bought one. I was, like, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, the money right. goes to charity, so I was right. like, I can afford one raffle ticket. One $5 <laughs> raffle ticket, and that's all. Uh, yeah. This is where Tori. I was, Yeah, this Tori, I'll be the same. It says I'll have to go hide at work somewhere and freak the F out. Yeah. My yeah. office Excuse doors me. will be closed. I will My be clogging the works up with multiple browsers on different computers in the house. I'm yeah. sorry. I apologize. But that's what I did last year when they released the hotel link before I like wasn't going. I remember I went to like the Starbucks parking lot because like my job, my old office had sucky internet. And I was like in the Starbucks parking lot during lunch, like buying Aww. hotel. Which it wasn't even that stressful trying to get the hotel. I feel like the tickets might be a little more stressful, but it wasn't as bad getting the hotel. And I think the issue is that whatever time they did the hotel block, like half like of the people wanting to go hadn't even woken up yet like oh, they right. by the time they woke up an hour like an hour later the block was sold out oh wow it took an hour to sell out which is pretty good like, <laughs> but hour. also like everything that happens in the beginning like the first couple of days mm. that the tickets go on sale it completely changes like towards the end Bef- mm-hmm. around the time that the signing is actually going to be because yeah. that's what they did for a polycon too is that like Ooh. immediately sold out and then the hotel block sold out so when mm-hmm. i booked my ticket to a polycon the hotel block was sold out and oh. so then i was able to get one like a month later when people mm-hmm. canceled their tickets or something so right. i had oh. a hotel, but it like people cancel they change plans and all that yeah. stuff People things re- happen. Resell tickets all the time. So, and the hotel block is just a block of rooms that the Gaylord like puts aside yeah, for this. For it's usually signing. a discounted price. Okay, it's usually a small discount, but it's usually a discounted price. Okay. <laughs> I know they said Bookman is. I know the Gaylord was expensive. Like even with the discount, it yeah. was yeah. Roommates, it is expensive. <laughs> mm-hmm. Roommate, yeah, definitely get a roommate for sure. I I have a roommate, and so <laughs> and so, oh, so fight me, yeah, hundred percent. Has anybody ever experienced the website crashing or anything like that when trying to yeah, check out Cross Bonanza? A lot of people did with the tickets in the hotel. There were a lot of glitches. A lot of people, it they didn't get the email with the link and stuff. But the organizers seem to be very, like, hands-on. Like, just shoot me an email. They had, like, a help form. Like, they were doing the best they could to try to, like, help people if you had, like, a glitch. Like, you know. Right. So, yes, but they do all they can, I guess, to try to work out those kinks. I'm going to right. assume it's similar to buying a concert ticket when you're like, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Things yeah. have changed. Like they've grown over the years. Now it's like you have to get in there and like, like Tiffany, like you were saying, like having like three or four monitors going, you know, like yeah. just like <laughs> different browsers, income. You need to have a help desk browser, you know? and completely like yeah. on your iPad or something else. You need to have. I have the desk. When I ha- yeah. when yeah. I bought Harry Styles tickets couple of oh months ago I bought Harry Styles tickets I had oh, three wow. different things open I was like it's what? such a, pro- it's it a production so I had a parent yeah. I had one of my parents have it open oh, on their wow. phone too I was like if you get them buy them <laughs> because oh, with like concert goodness. tickets the like price gouges so it like goes up right. more, but like this yeah. it doesn't do that so well that's true right. maybe I can calm down well maybe I'll let you think I'm calm 
Um, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> My boss will be in yet. <laughs> that's 8 a.m. is a funny time, um, my time. It's, it's like right when I'm getting to work, but like my, my office is pretty low key. So I think I'll just like go hole up somewhere and hope for the best. It's just, I choose to believe we're all going to get tickets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, well, yeah. All that. yeah. That's that's the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I'm excited. You guys are also. You guys are all going to Vocanza. Yes. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that'll be so, so exciting! I'll just give you guys all a big hug. I've already yeah. taken off my time from work. Like I'm good. Me too. Wow. Well, That's I want to know good. who's the author that you guys like. When I went scrolling mm. the author list, yeah, I had because I who's know I'm going to meet Sophie like next month. I yeah. had a visceral reaction every single time. Pam Godwin was posted at Book Bonanza. I was like, I mean, yeah. will fall me. like, like, uh, I cannot wait. I cannot. Yeah, wait. no, that that's a good one. That's a big one for me as well. Um, yeah. I think honestly, I think Anna Huang. I think that I would got be, excited good about her. Yeah. Um, there's so many. Actually, I'm a big fan of C.D. Reese, so mm-hmm. I definitely will be going to see her. Um, I mean, Ali Martinez. She's yes! fantastic. Um, like there's like honestly, I'm overwhelmed. Mariana like, Zapata, I know, yeah, too. literally, oh, her so books alone, so her books alone are gonna take up like half the suitcase because I have all of her books, yep. yeah. And mm-hmm. Kennedy Ryan, I want to see Kennedy Ryan, yeah. like, there's there, there's so there's many. Like, I actually, I, I haven't even processed this list. Tate yet. James, like, I'm still staring at it going, uh, yeah, pardon me, Tate, Tate James, I yeah. Love- I love the Hades series and also the Medicine Kate series by Tay James. Yeah, Sierra Simone. Mm-hmm. Um, like there, there's a bunch on here that are just like knockouts for sure. Mm-hmm. They have such a great variety. Like there's yeah, so many. Like, me too, Zay. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, right? I'll cry too, Zay. We can go together. We'll line up together and go see We, can, we can all cry. Together. We'll all cry. Oh <laughs> She'll just be like, what? It'll <laughs> be like this big emotional circle. I'm gonna cry. I might cry when I meet Sophie Lark next month. I really might. I really might. Oh, Girl, I'm already I, preparing I, for their energy. Like I'm trying to like. I'm already. I'm. I'm doing like practice. My background on my phone is my picture of Sophie Lark and me at a poly. Oh my god, that's so Aww. sweet. And you know, I love how she hugs. Like it's such a. It's such an <laughs> authentically genuine, feel good hug. And. For some reason, I almost knew she was Canadian. I knew it. I just had a feeling. And she's from Vancouver Island. And I grew up in a place like the Sunshine Coast, which is like just a ferry boat over from Vancouver Island. Yeah. And I just had that sense. I'm like, oh, I just know it. But no, her and Mr. Lark are such a boss. You're so like, cute. I'm mad that I didn't get a picture with Mr. Lark at a Polycon. So I'm glad that we're. I'm going to Vegas and I can get a picture with the two of them. Yeah, he, at- he is. He's a marketing genius. Like seriously, he really like he's brilliant. he's got a lot of that dial. Mm-hmm. Like she's definitely like on on the storyboard typing, he but he's so definitely sweet. like marketing genius for sure. I I when I went up to see Sophie, like she was the first mm-hmm. author that I saw at a Polycon. She was the first one that I went to, and so when I went up to her table, I was like freaking out a little bit I had never been to a signing before I was like I don't know what what to do so I went up and I got my book signed and we were having a conversation and then I left and I realized I never took a picture with her and I was like freaking out and I was like oh and I went back over to him to Mr. Lark and I was like hi I was here and he was like yeah and he I was like I didn't get to take a I forgot to take a picture with Sophie can I take a picture and he stopped the line to oh, allow wow. me to like he's Aww. like he just didn't get to take a picture and he pulled Sophie over so that we could that's really sweet I love that I will be hugging that man and he has already agreed to sign my book <laughs> I told him I want his signature too just because he helps yeah. so much I mean it's basically well, like he helps husband. her with her ideas and everything yeah. it's so great it's, they're such a good team, a team. Like, it's really cool so team. yeah Sophie Larkin that's the kind of partnership I'm looking for <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very That's collaborative. the kind of marriage that I would like, please. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, what do you guys think? Should we... I think we're good. Or getting good. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm having fun. But, yeah. Oh, I'm letting know so much. We have to I know. Oh, no. 
hundred percent. This will be like this will. I'd like to. I'd like to think that we can do this regularly. Okay. Bring in other people. It could just be a big party, you know. How many people can you put on a live? Oh, more. Yeah, I think I've seen, I've, there's five, six. Like, I think I don't even know what the limit is. I'll have to Google it. But at least like there's a, I've seen six. Yeah, I think I've seen six too. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll definitely, um, I definitely want to do this. So we'll just, we'll figure out a day and um, sort it out. Yay. Bye. Yeah. All right. Well. Good night. I made fun. <laughs> friends <laughs> good night everybody thank night you for night. joining us books and banter uh well one more comment oh interesting oh okay. she's hooking us six <laughs> okay good yeah. awesome okay perfect thank you so much melissa Okay, good night, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.